Hello there, and welcome. I bought an arcade stick. Yeah, I know, I kind of gave in and I just went ahead and bought an arcade stick because I wanted to. And also, I'm going to be playing a lot of fighting games, so I, might, I thought might as well just buy one and get used to using it. So here it is, in all of its beauty. Isn't it just beautiful? I love it. I could, I could like, almost smooch it. Almost. If it didn't have my hands on it, you know? Oh, I can't show the box, because it has my address. Oh my... Ugh. Look at this beast! Oh, how do I open this? Could I just add that this is not a proper review, okay? I'm just some guy who likes playing on an arcade stick, because I think it's fun. Wait, I gotta touch it. Oh, that feels good. And the buttons. Oh. I'm not good at it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm also a noob at fighting games, so I don't really have anything to add for competitive players. So yeah. I'm not very good at making it appealing. But dang, is this satisfying. That's so clean. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's amazing. I just want to play with it now. I just want to like, oh my gosh. Oh, it's working. I'm playing it. I think one of my favorite parts is definitely the buttons. They're, they're very satisfying to push. And also the joystick. The joystick is like, oh, has a good sound. I kept practicing with the arcade stick and to my surprise, I was actually doing pretty good. I did have to get used to it for a little bit, but after that, it was almost natural to me. Well, almost natural. Oh, I'm doing worse, actually. <laughs> of course, I would lose a couple matches, but I was getting better. You could see my improvement, and I was having a lot of fun, which is important, because fun goes a long way. Yep, I'm so bad. <laughs> for the most part, I learned pretty quickly how to use it. I dropped that combo, man. I don't know how to fight Azucena! <laughs> yep, I think I'm gonna need some practice on this thing. And of course, after unboxing it, I have to go use it in practice mode and in some real life matches. I played so many matches with it that I eventually got accustomed with the controls. And it was pretty much a part of me now. So much to the point where I actually was starting to win matches, which was a really weird feeling. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I don't know how to fight Reyna. I did have to take some time to getting used to it. You know, placing my fingers on the right buttons and putting the right inputs for certain combos. I don't know how to deal with- What is the electrics? Oh no. I don't know how to deal with electrics. That definitely takes some time getting used to. Uh, I, I just- I just- I just forgot how to play it. And also using the joystick to input down, forward, and down, back. For some reason, that was just a little difficult for me. Electric- how- they're doing so many electrics! Oh my gosh, I'm- I'm garbage compared to this person! Jesus! All the combos! Oh, I'm so scared right now. I think it might be because I placed it on my lap, and my lap is kind of at an angle. So it kind of makes putting angles, uh, facing towards me a little more difficult than it should be. Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh, it, it keeps going. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh. I'd imagine if I had like a flat surface, it would be a little easier. But I'm just using my legs. And my legs are thick. That did not sound thick. Let me try again. That's thick. <laughs> Teach me your ways, please. Wait, he said he just picked her up this week. Huh? Not gonna lie to you. I just want to keep pressing these buttons and then moving this stick. That That's like all I just want to do. Now why did I actually buy it? Well, because I love the arcades. I, I played a lot of games that utilize the, this sort of joystick and button-esque layout. I think one of these toys had like Spongebob's nose as the joystick and then like his eyeballs as the buttons. I don't remember. Maybe I'm like remembering it wrong, but I'm doing a really bad job at showcasing this, but it's just feels good feels like i'm in an actual arcade oh satisfying i like the buttons i think the buttons are my favorite part 
I know, I know, I am a console gamer, but I don't know. It's something about it. Just feels at home to me. It feels good. It, it, that's it. That's all I want to say. It just feels good. And when I think of fighting games, I think of like the arcades. I'm definitely going to be customizing it sometime in the future with my own, I don't know, anime-esque background and some special buttons because I love the color red. I'm probably going to use red buttons. As I was having some fun, my friend messages me if he wants to play some Tekken. I honestly didn't think any of my friends would play Tekken. I don't fighting games. All right, quick side note. It, let me just say, playing with your friends on Tekken is so much more difficult than it should. You'd think we would just have our own friend codes and then send each other it so then we can come together. But no, the way we have to do it is we have to meet each other in some random room so then we can add each other as a friend and then we use that to make our own room to then come together and then fight. I know, it's, it's a big humbo jumbo mess. But that's, that's the way we gotta do. And so with all my training and preparation, obviously these are just friendly matches, just friendly stuff that I can use to learn. And... Ah, uh, I could have punished that. That was a simple punish. Oh boy. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, I suck. Oh, no. I don't know why I use that! I, I, why did I use that? <laughs> yep, I'm uh, really bad, apparently. My friend is insane. Kawaii this Not like super insane, but insane enough to beat me pretty much every game. I should preface that he has been playing ever since Tekken 7, I think is what he told me. He made Swarang, and yeah, he beat me a lot. Ouch. I think my brain just only knows how to play Reyna. If my confidence level was like up here, it then dropped all the way to like down here. Don't get me wrong, I was still having fun, but just losing all the time and, and getting so close to actually winning. Man, we're cooking up something? Oh no. Oh jeez. Going against my friend, I realized I suck a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like I am garbage. Like I don't even think Garbage is a good word to describe just how bad I was against him. I, I sucked. Uh oh. Oh, he was almost dead, man. <laughs> Please don't tell me I'm dead here. I died with that. Kept getting grabbed. I kept doing dumb stuff that I shouldn't have done. I was doing stuff that I, I wouldn't be doing against like weird strangers online. Something about playing against someone you know is just really nerve-wracking and it really got to me for some reason ooh, ooh, ooh. eat my toes bitch. oh whoa sheesh I did that and after losing so many times I just I started losing myself nice we hit him with this I'm forgetting to talk now oh he hits this oh am I dead here though I don't think I'm dead I would suck at if I- Why got- What? Started doubting whether or not I was actually improving. I started questioning if all of my hard work and all my knowledge was actually gonna go into my play. Or if I was just wasting my time and if my invest in, 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 investment into this fight stick was just a waste. Because let me tell you, fight sticks aren't cheap. They're kind of expensive. So I just finished playing with my friend uh, yesterday and <laughs> I got I got beat. I got wrecked. I got absolutely destroyed. This is awkward filming in public. Okay, that was a lie about me being in public. I'm just outside of my house cuz I'm awkward like that. But yeah, it's it's actually raining. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like being outside. I, it can like touch grass just like right there. But also this is my favorite wall back here. You guys didn't need to know that, but this is like my safe space. Okay, I'm gonna go inside now. I was asking myself whether or not I should just go back to controller. I pretty much was raised with a controller, so the layout is just natural to me, but I really, really wanted to use a fight stick. And I really wanted to learn it and get good with it because it, it's interesting to me, it's cool. But me, I'm not like that. I don't know about you, but every time I lose, I always try to get better. I always try to one-up myself and improve at some way. I try to make sure that my loss or something that's wrong just doesn't happen again. 
There's smoke right there. And so what I decided to do was to start analyzing my pra my I can't so past matches. That's the word. English major, by the way. <laughs> and I actually noticed quite a lot of things. For example, I get grabbed a lot and I don't know how to handle that or I can't react fast enough for me to press a button so I can not get grabbed. This one, if I blocked that, I could have punished that one. The way Tekken's grabbing system works is if you get grabbed, there's a small window where you can press either one or two, one of those buttons, and you will just negate the grab. You will just like push it away as if the grab never happened. He's spamming a lot of buttons, I just see that. I, I noticed he's only using like back four. I'm kind of just not blocking. And for me, my reaction time is just slow for some reason. I, I suck at reacting to that. So that's number one that I got to work on. Number two is just my failed combos. There's a bunch of combos that I'm just kind of not used to and I kind of need to integrate that into my arsenal. Oh jeez, that combo. Duh. I need to start using lows, some mids, some highs and start mixing that up and I need to just make it go with the flow. Put some more pressure when there is pressure, step back when there's too much pressure on me. That round's rough. That round, ooh. I think we could have added a bit more pressure there. And then just analyze what's going on and understand what's happening from the other side. Along with that is very specific character matches. Every character is different and I think I just need to play some more games to understand what character does what. It's all very complicated and you can't really learn just from researching, you really have to just play the game. There's just so many things that I just messed up that I can learn, and that's exactly what I did. So here comes the training montage. The, the training montage is supposed to be playing. I, I hope it's playing. Uh oh. The crabs, man! The crabs! Jesus. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, he knows what he's doing. Okay, we got this. We can do this. <gasps> we actually hit it! I'm sweaty because I ran. I don't know why I ran. I just wanted to say that I'm sweaty. Both in game and IRL. So, lore accurate. <laughs> I kept going at it. I kept training. I kept fighting. And I was improving. I slowly saw myself doing better. I would obviously still lose, but I understand why I lost. And that's the most important thing. I no longer was pushing buttons. I was actually inputting moves that I meant to push. Doing combos that I actually wanted to do. And of course messing up once in a while, but hey, that, that that's not my fault, okay? That's just, I don't know, that's um among us. It's that fault. So after a few matches of me pretty much doing pretty well actually and creating some of my newest skins for Reyna, I decided it's time for ranked. Now the build up to this ranked game, this will be my first rank gameplay. My first ranked match on camera. I did play a practice one just because, but um, I don't really count that because I ended up losing really hard and I don't have footage for that. So, you're welcome. Leading up to the event, I was surprisingly super nervous. I was actually like scared. I was super jittery and I, it felt like I was actually joining a tournament. I started seeing sweat right across my forehead, kind of like what's happening right now. Can you see it? Can you see the sweat? Just acne, but I was scared. I was nervous. I had the jitters. And so, we let the battle commence. All right, let's do this thing. Oh, 
Okay. Not good. Oh. Okay. Okay, they know they're still. Oh, jeez. The, the electrics. <laughs> I'm messing up. Our first match was pretty scary. I, I kind of struggled a little bit. Had to sort of grasp how my opponent was actually reacting to my stuff. Nice, we got that one. We got that, we got that. I had to trust in the process. I had to trust in myself and that everything I worked hard for up to this moment was worth it. And that I was actually ready to compete. Nice. Oh, I messed that up. I messed that, are you serious? Oh, oh I'm getting hit, I'm getting. <gasps> <laughs> I can't believe I actually hit that. Okay, okay. Oh, Chansu, Chansu, Chansu time, Chansu time. Yes, that's a lot of damage. Ouch. Okay, not good, not good. Can't do anything there. Oh, yikes. Uh-oh. What, what happened? <laughs> We're stuck in time! No! No! Are you serious? No! Yep, we got disconnected. But this next one is the real deal. What the? Huh? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh! Leave me alone! They're just spamming one button! Oh! I don't know what's happening, but we're hitting a lot of damage here. Oh, wait, that's a perfect. <laughs> nice! Nice! I don't know what she's doing exactly. So apparently, my opponent just stopped playing? Um... What is... Is, is she throwing on purpose? I don't think I'm gonna count that for some reason. I don't know why I just have the worst luck with fighting games, but this one is for sure the final game to decide our fate. Nice. Nice. Okay, just keep the pressure going. Ouch. With a bunch of punches and kicks going back and forth, back and forth. Oh, 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 ouch. Nice, I know my Combos, rounds against rounds. Yes, yes, yes. Just had to be patient there. Just had to be patient. We eventually reach to the final match. Oh, okay, he's adapting. What is that move? <laughs> That's kind of cool. And, come on, I want to do an electric. Oh, grab him. Oh, okay, that works too. Uh oh, I won. Oh, oh, we won. Oh, officially, like no cheating, no hacks, or we won! <laughs> it was insane. It was an insane battle. It was so close. Honestly, it could have gone both ways, but I ended up pushing through and winning. It was amazing. It was the best moment of my life. Second to me eating a McDonald's snack wrap. I will forever remember that moment it's amazing please bring it back mcdonald's i love it i actually had validation that all of my hard work and training actually paid off and with that let's keep playing some more tech or fighting games i don't know we'll see i'm kind of eyeing street fighter so who knows yeah how do i end this video again good question Bang.